floss tube i'm back <laughs> my name's kerry also known as kitty stitcher um before we do anything i apologize for the ring light in my glasses but as i've said in my previous videos if i take my glasses off i can't see anything so i'm really sorry um but yeah i'm sorry i've been gone for so long um i think i last saw you I can't remember whether it was the end of February or end of March. I should have gone back and had a look. But um, I think it was end of March because um, April I had a really tough time with my fatigue. And unfortunately my stitch bug just, just left me. And it was a long time coming back. <laughs> An awful long time. Um, and then it's sort of been back and gone and back and gone. It's been backwards and forwards a little bit. But it's here at the moment. So we're going to run with it um so i'm gonna do my best to take you through everything i've done since i last saw you which isn't as much as i would have liked but it's the way things are isn't it um mum should be here in about three quarters of an hour so i'm hoping to get this filmed um before then so i'll try and keep it as concise as possible so what have i been doing not a lot <laughs> It's the answer to that. I've not even managed to get to my choir much. Uh, Saturday just gone. Um, it was the local, it was the village scarecrow festival that they have every year. Um, well, it was the first time they've been able to have it for two years because of uh, COVID. Um, and our choir group, when I say our choir group, a couple of very talented members of the choir group made some scarecrows. And um, we sat behind them just outside the church and like sang for an hour or so it should have been an hour but it went on for longer because uh, the church bells kept ringing so we had to keep pausing while the church bells were ringing um but um i'll insert a photo that i think it was our choir leader took of us sat behind our scarecrows here But yeah, it it was a it was a fun day, and then like mum managed to get up just to see the last chorus of my last song, and then we went off and had an ice cream and had a look at a few scarecrows together. And then I came home and I was done, and I was in bed after that. <laughs> but uh, so is life with chronic fatigue. Anyway, enough of that. So yes, what have I been doing? Well, I've had two starts and finishes, so I will show those first. Both of these. Um, were for the um like to raise money to go towards um the ukrainian appeal so the first one was by long dog samplers and this is simply called slava ukraini and i can't remember what the fabric is but it's 28 count jodry designs i know pleasant i know that um i did change the colors just of the of the words because they should have been in that color which isn't my favorite color so um, i changed it to the colors of the ukrainian flag um this piece i have to admit isn't usually my style but it was all for a good cause so i did it and it it sort of i just hang it up behind there um but yeah the pattern was free and she just asked that if you downloaded it that you um gave money to ukrainian appeals so i donated to the what's it the disasters emergency committee or whatever it is for ukraine it was the <coughs> the official one in this country i donated to that but yeah so there was that one and then my other start and finish was also for ukraine and that's this one this is uh, i think it's just called peace dove and it's by um purple and mint purple I had to think then um there was two options for it there was the option with the cross-stitched sunflower which is the one that i did or uh, there was also an option um for an olive branch but i went for this one i was debating whether to put the words underneath it but i like the quote so i went for it but yeah so those are my two starts and finishes um yeah so let's move on to my regular bits right first one in the pile is my uh temperature butterfly and this is by um stitching mommy 
let me get my details out because of course I've left it in there with all the fabric on and everything. It's stitched on 28 counts Opal Brittany Jodry Designs in the colourway Mermaid Dreams. And I'm stitching it two over two. And this is up to date. Well, I've not stitched yesterday's in because it's not come out yet, but there we go. So you can see it's been like a very blare year. Like we didn't have cold, cold temperatures at the beginning of the year. In fact, we had a very, very mild, <laughs> that was New Year's Day. And then we sort of had a mild spring, which leads us into here. Now these temperatures look really good, but it's just the colors because I'm using the chart for the cold climate or cool climate. Um, so these are sort of temperatures of like 17, 18, 19. I think the highest we had was the other day, which was that one, and that was 26. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. The only temperature I remember in Fahrenheit is I know that 16 is 61 because uh, you reverse the numbers. Here comes Charlie. You're going to get in the way. Now don't rub yourself on all the stuff because it'll all fall over. He might make an appearance. Um, so yeah, it's been... It's been really dis. I, I, I was hoping to do a video in the garden, but although the sun has come out, which probably won't last, um, it's not warm out there. I think the high today is 17, which is probably about 63. And looking at the next week, that's all that we're going to be having, really. What are you trying to do, Charlie? I would turn you around, but I'm actually having problems with the where, where my, ca my camera is because I had a lot of work done um, in this room, electrical work. And... Um, I think during the process, my um, ring light got knocked over and one of the screws has come out of it that holds the camera still. I can't find it. So you're actually held in place with blue tech at the moment. So if I move it, you'll be gone. But anyway, yeah, this is up to date. So my plan today, as well as stitching in yesterday's, is I want to get July's butterfly stitched. But there we go. There's that one. So I did get very far behind on that, but um, obviously I caught up. That was my first priority when I when I found my stitching bug. So I've got um, an air freshener up there that spits out every now and then. So let me have a slurp of my drink. And I think we can all agree with the sentiment on today's mug. I just want to cross stitch and forget all of my adult problems, don't we all? cup of tea it's my first one of the day so next is um that one <laughs> uh oh god death by cross stitch by long dog samplers i'm not getting this all unrolled i'm afraid um in fact it'll be as much as a, a surprise to me as to you when i finally i've almost sort of finished like the top row of where my when i say top row to me well, like, it's about a page and a bit, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. This is stitched on 32 count Opal Murano um, by Jodry Designs in the colourway Silver Tassels. And it's stitched two over two using um, a Silks For You thread in the colourway PR, excuse me, 030. And me and my friend Hannah. Hey, Hannah we started this as a stitch along or a start along whatever oh and speaking of hannah i know um <clears throat> hannah's daughter francesca has been wanting me to to do a video so hi francesca i did say that i would be doing one this month so uh i'm just going to try and just turn you around to see so you can see charlie because i know she likes him charlie hello hello what are you doing there Anyway, there he is. Let's see. I've gone a bit cockeyed now. Let me straighten us up a little bit. I'll just move my blue tack. There, right. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Death by Cross Stitch. So, since I last saw you, I think, and this is only a think, um, I can't tell you the exact amount of stitches I've done since I last saw you, but I think I've done 27.67. I've done about about 5% since I last saw you. This month, I have stitched, oh, um, I've not counted it all up, 
7,680 stitches this month on it and I'm now at 32.75% and here we are. I've been working on this block and I've just started coming down there. So like I said, when I've finished there, which hopefully I might do this Sunday because I stitch this every Sunday as part of our stitch long. I could do with something behind it, couldn't I? I stitch it every Sunday as part of our stitch along. So I'm hoping that I should get that finished and then I'll unravel it all and see what we've got along this top row. Oh, the, the hearts are done in, um, it's the week's dye work, it's called Emma P Emma's Pink. And I'm just picking out all the, like, like not the hearts that are done in a negative, but the ones that are done like in the positive. I'm doing um, in Emma's Pink. So that's that. The the colour it's a, it comes across as a deeper, more bluish colour, but um in real life it, it it's more it's it's a paler purple. Um but yeah, that's that. And I, I love it. I absolutely love doing this one. Again, it's not something that I would normally have picked out for myself, but I saw so many people stitching it and then I saw different ways that and different colours that, that, and everything that, the way that people were doing it, and yeah, I just I just fell in love with it. So I think it was Hannah who suggested starting it. So I was like, okay, <laughs> why not? Hannah's just been to a retreat this past weekend. What's amazing? It was like a, a mirabilia um, ish retreat when i say ish it's because like they had like nora corbett and well which is obviously mirabilia and um bella filipina um and ones like that and i must admit she did make me make a purchase <laughs> which i haven't got yet but um so i'll have to show you that next time but yeah right next what is in oh this is a new start this one um and i've not Where's my fabric details for this one? Because it's I've not done a little card for this. Um, it was my birthday in May, and my friend Hannah, hi Hannah, um, as part of my birthday, she gave me um a twenty pound gift voucher for like side needlecraft. So um, like one of the things that I purchased was <coughs> excuse me was this stitch along. I just bought the the charts because. Lord knows I have enough fabric and DMC and everything. So, and in fact, I think I only had to order a couple of colours for it. I, I had pretty much all of it. So this is called Happy Hedgehogs. Because I love hedgehogs. And it's, like I say, it's by Lakeside Needle. I can't remember the name of the actual artist. But um, it's really cute. And like I saw the first one. Like she'd put the first one up, um, you know, to give you an idea of, of, of what you were buying. And I was just like, yeah, I've got to have that. So, so this is a birthday gift from Hannah. In fact, she sent me because she also she sent me a really cute little set of like um, a needle minder, a scissor fob, and a thread puller. So I'm just going to pull it all out because I've got it all together here. So let me show you where we are. And now I've got nothing to oh, hold that behind it. So here we are. So the first two hedgehogs have been released. That was the first one. And that was the little guy I fell in love with. And then his little friend here, this is a very fancy lady. Um, she came out like a week ago and the charts are released every three weeks. And there's 15 parts. And I think the last part comes out in March next year. Um, but this is stitched on 28 count Opal Brittany by Jodry Designs in the colourway Elven Wood which was a September 2016 limited edition and I'm using all the call, called for colours. Yeah, I was um, stitching her yesterday as I was trying to watch a tennis and whereas I should have finished it really early on in the day, I didn't finish it till the evening because I was too busy watching the tennis. But yeah, that's that. And, oh yeah, and I was just going to show you what, what Hannah bought me. There was, that's the, the needle minder. That one's by Caterpillar Craft Stitch. That is a needle minder. And then it has a matching scissor fab. And also a little needle threader with the 
the pink flower on. So it was just lovely. It was like the best gift ever. So yeah. So thank you, Hannah, for that. That'll keep me busy. Um, let me put those back in there so I don't lose them. And the last thing that I stitched on um, was well, what I'm calling my focus piece, which is my um, Ashley Gardens, which is my Heaven and Earth design. Um, the artwork is by Dennis Lewin and charted, like I say, by, by Hayde. I can't tell you again exactly how much I've done since I last saw you. Um, I've not worked on it at all this month, have I? No, I have. I'm telling a lie. I have worked on it this month. I've only done 1,000... According to what I've... Oh, no, no, I have, no. I thought, I've done that much. I have, actually. I've done 17,642 stitches. No, that's this year, not... I thought, I thought that was a lot for this one. <laughs> no, here we are. That's more like it. I've run 3,470 this month. That's more, that's more like it. Oh, but I'm now at, <coughs> excuse me, I'm now at 51.89%, but I've not worked on it since the 12th of June, actually. No, 14th of June. Because then my stitchy bug just went missing again for a week. And then, yeah, then I was working on Happy Hedgehogs, so, yeah, so let me, I'll insert a picture of where I was last time here. And hopefully you will have seen a picture also of what it's going to look like when it's finished. So... Here we are. Oh, now. Oh. I'm afraid I can't hold anything behind it because I've just not got enough ants. But yeah, it's coming along really nicely. I'm really, 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 really enjoying it. Especially now that I've got the chart on Pattern Keeper because it makes, <coughs> excuse me, it makes a world of difference. But yeah, so that is going to carry on being my focus piece. And I think that is all I've stitched on since I last saw you. I think. Well, oh no, I did touch um, my fairy tale village. I have to, or fairy tale town. I have to get that because of course I always want to call it something else. Um, I only stitched on it once though, and I'm even trying to find how much I did. It just wasn't, it wasn't worth me. It wasn't worth me showing you. Um, no, in fact, I don't think I did stitch on it, so that's a lie. I need to get better at that. I need to, I meant to pick that up on a Saturday, but I don't. Oh. Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat this morning. So next, let us go on to, oh, Mum's Whip, of course, I know you all want to see Mum. Well, Mum has had a finish since I last saw you, and she's now over halfway through her next one. And she says she doesn't stitch that much. Um, so I'll have to try and remember, I'll have to try and remember what it was she was stitching on. I think it was Mini My Sweet Valentine by um, Heaven and Earth, Chatted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, I did do a video of her finishing it. If I can find it, I'll insert it here. If not, I'll insert a picture of it here. That is Mum. Hi, Hi. Mum. Hi. And she has another finish. Yeah. <laughs> you said four and a half months, didn't you? Yeah. So four this this is um, Minnie, my sweet my Valentine. Sweet Valentine. Mm -hmm. Who Can you remember who the designer is? I can never remember. No, no I can't either. No. Um, but yeah, it took her four and a half months and it's absolutely stunning. It really is. Let's have a, have a close up on it. You can see the colour. It's coming out a little bit darker on the screen than it actually is. But you can just see how beautiful it is. And, it's been a, a different one this time, hasn't it, for you? Yeah, from, it's what you usually. What I normally pick. Yeah. Yes, it was just the colours. I just love yeah. the colours in it. Yeah. Because um, 
well we both the, there was three chats we both liked didn't we so we both bought because i i've got this one as well mm. don't know if i'll ever get around to doing it but so what's your next project mom i've just started one last night uh called blue skies can you remember who that artist is no. oh it wasn't an artist it was from a photo wasn't it but it's an yeah. artsy one isn't yeah, it, it is, and yeah. it's actually i've got it haven't i and you liked it so much that you got it yeah, as well yeah. so again we keep doing this we keep duplicating know, our patterns i really, know oh, so so yeah so and it's a bigger one isn't it, it? Is bigger a lot bigger mm. yeah, yeah yeah so yeah another beautiful finish from mum and it probably won't be long before she has another one oh. <laughs> well you know i think this one will take the sex one will take quite a while uh, okay bye mum bye. bye so at least you should have seen something of it <laughs> anyway um so she's now stitching on it's actually one that i bought it's um called blue skies and it's a mystic stitch pattern and i'm not sure if anybody knows have mystic stitch gone out of business because like the website seems to have disappeared and if they have me and mum are very very upset because you know some of their patterns are, are the best really they're, they're our second um artsy are our favorite followed by mystic stitch followed by heaven and earth um Oh yeah, but but this one it's called Blue Skies. I can't remember the name of the artist, but it's charted by Mystic Stitch, and it was one that I actually bought. And Mum just fell in love with it, so she bought it as well, and she she's uh, she started it. So yesterday she finished page eight out of eighteen, but because the last row of pages aren't full pages, if she was able to tell me her percentage, she'd probably be over, you know, be over halfway now so i got her to unroll it all and send me a picture of it so i'll insert a picture of what it will look like finished here and a picture of where she is now here and it looks amazing and um, the picture does not do it justice at all and um, the colors are more vibrant when you see them um but it's stitched on 18 count ada two over two full cross which is mum's go-to so that's mum so where are we uh mum's way oh plans well my plans are stitch happy hedgehogs as soon as that comes out because i want to keep on top of that um stitch on ashley gardens monday to friday fairy tale village on a saturday um death by cross stitch on a sunday oh and temperature butterfly every day those are the plans will the plans remain who knows will i stitch on fairy tale village who knows hopefully i will because <laughs> i really need to keep on top of it Oh, because it's, it's just getting nothing. And it's just the pattern because it looks so amazing. It's just that horrible pattern. That's that's what stops me. Right, next. Um, stitchy kindness. I had some stitchy kindness. My lovely friend Mary Rose in Australia. I will link her video down below. She's Stitch Bliss Corner. She's recently come back to Floss Tube, which I'm very pleased about because I missed her. Um, I sent her a stitched piece um, a few months ago and then she stitched me a piece um, in return. She didn't have to, but she's kind and she did. So she stitched me a piece in return and oh my word, when I opened it, I audibly just went, wow because it is amazing um i'm gonna she sent me a card with roses on and i'm just going to read you a bit out of it that the that helps to explain um her thinking behind the pattern because it's not a proper it's not a full charted pattern she's taken images from um another design that she's already stitched which she did an amazing job of um but then she's personalized it to me so let me show you it first of all and she had it framed for me oh no the ring light oh there there we go isn't it amazing and i think it's stitched on 28 count and it's stitched one over one which 
absolutely blows my mind because I struggle to stitch on 25 count one over one, let alone on 28. Oh, I love it. I was going to hang it up in here, but because I do most of my stitching in my living room, it's had to come in the living room and it's literally right in front of me so that I can see it all the time. And it's just so beautiful. So just let me read you. If I can hold, see, can I hold it there? I'll try and hold it there. Let me read you a bit of the thinking behind it. So she wanted, she wanted to celebrate that me and my mum, mother and daughter, and that we enjoy our stitching and have a great relationship. So she, she says, my inspiration for this piece was Dragons of Sumatra by Tracy Horner, one of my favourite pieces that I stitched. And it's one of my favourite pieces that she stitched as well because the colours that she put into it were amazing. Um, it says the top dragon represents your mother. The fuchsia dragon, which is one of her favourite flowers, is overlooking the, col the column of flowers on the right, which represents some of your favourite flowers. The lower dragon represents you. The fuchsia dragon and you are facing the flowers that you that's your mother favours. The four legs of the dragons represent the four legs of each of your beloved cats. <laughs> I had to include them. I thought, uh, uh, yeah, so like, because she asked us for our favourite colours and our favourite flowers. So she's tried to get our favourite colours in there as much as possible. But I just absolutely love it. And I have to say the frame could not be more perfect if she tried because she didn't ask me what kind of frame. She just did it. But I'm I'm a very plain person, very plain and simple. And in my style, I'm very plain and simple. And um, I've been framing most of my pieces in black, but the sort of like pewtery colour around it. Again, when my house is decorated in the colours that I want, my living room will be sort of like a very, very, very pale grey. Um, and I think and it's, it's just going to be perfect absolutely perfect so but I just but yeah when I opened it I just went wow because <laughs> we um we, it was quite oh, oh, the card by the way sits usually on top of the, the board over there um but she had quite quite a, a bit of a, a problem sorting the frame out like with covid and and everything and then just had to keep fingers crossed that it arrived in one piece which it did so but I love it so thank you so much Mary Rose you are so lovely that. Um, so moving on to haul, which Charlie is partially sitting on. Sorry, Charlie. Um, I've tried to remember to save everything for you. I don't know why I, I, I get the week's die works. I'm in the thread of the month club, but I don't know why I've put those there because I, I just usually put those away. Um, I've just paid for another lot. I'm not sure whether they might be the last ones or if not. The, I'm, I must be coming to the end of it now and I'll have a full set of weeks dye works then. Um, but I bought a few needle minders from Caterpillar Cross Stitch, or just two I think. And I bought these two, because I butterfly, because I love butterflies, and a black cat, because well I think we all know that I love cats. I love all animals, apart from spiders. I can manage little spiders, but yeah, <laughs> I love all animals. I want a dog. I do miss having a dog. But anyway, yeah, because my, my brother said, sadly, they lost their dog. She was only four years old, a dash and her back went and she did have surgery, but unfortunately she didn't make it. Um, she was only four and she was such a lovely dog. But anyway, um, but then I got this. This was a pattern that I believe was at market. My friend Hannah reposted it. Um, on her account from um, Create Nostalgia, which is um, a needle workshop in North Wales, which I'd really love to go to one day. In fact, I've got an order coming from them that hasn't arrived yet. Um, so when I saw it, I was like, I, I contacted her and I was like, can you get me a copy as well? So it's just cross stitch to do list. And it says cross stitch to do list, buy fabric, buy thread, buy more fabric, buy new charts, talk about fabric, start stitching and I love the colours so I think when I do stitch it um because I think yeah they're all DMCs <clears throat> but I'm quite sure that I'll stitch them in the cold for colours because I love the colours but I just love that chart 
um, and then I've had a couple of um, Caterpillar cross stitch um, I have their subscription box so I think these are the two charts that came with each one I love that one I love that one and across their full their full kits so you get everything you want um, the other bits of the box have either been eaten or <laughs> what have you um, then this is another one. Um, Hannah is very bad at making me buy charts. You know, mate, she makes me buy them. But yeah, she she posted this one, and I had to have it. It's one of the new uh, Nora Corbett releases, and this one is called Luna Moth, and we both bought it. And she's really pretty. So I'll post my friend Hannah's Instagram account below because she absolutely loves like Nora Corbett, Mirabilia and she's a serial starter so she starts loads but she puts pictures on every day of her stitching so if you want to go and follow her look down below she'll be down there but yeah that was Miss Luna Moss oh and then in the cat with the caterpillar cross stitch subscription box if you post a picture of your box you're in a draw to win um a 10 pound voucher and i won i won a 10 pound voucher so uh this is what i bought with my voucher i had to put a little bit towards it but it's a kit saying spring that's the only one there's no like summer autumn or winter so i'm hoping that there will eventually be other ones but i bought that and it's a full kit yeah i'll probably um change out the the fabric but i don't know we'll see um oh and then i bought a couple more of the mandalas from maloka designs and she has got another one coming out which i think looks like a tiger but we'll see so she brought one out for easter which was this mandala rabbit so i've not seen you since easter gosh wow and then now this this is a zebra now zebras are special to me because um those of you who've been with me for a long time may know that i have a condition called ellis danlos syndrome and the symbol for ellis danlos syndrome is um is a zebra because it's something along the saying of because no no zebras have the same stripes and it's something to do with doctors like when if doctors hear hooves behind them they'll think the horses but when they turn around the zebras or something it's something to do with invisible illnesses i can't remember the exact terminology but so i had to have the um the zebra and so she has got another one coming out very very soon um which i think looks like a tiger but i could be wrong but i think it's a tiger and i think that's everything so i am waiting for um there was um a chart that hannah made me purchase <laughs> She, she she was showing that some of the finishes off the finish table at her um at the retreat she went to and there was a chart by Pash Pashiane Recamo, I can never pronounce it. Um I can't I can't remember the the name of it now. Is it Enchanted Fairy or something like that? And I was like, Oh my god, I've got to have it. But I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, but I eventually found um I found it on eBay and it said it was it had never been opened and everything so I'm waiting on that to arrive and I'm also waiting for an order from Create Nostalgia because I went to because I needed two DMCs and came away with two DMCs and two Just Nans because she sells loads of Just Nans. I did actually have four Just Nans in my uh, shopping cart so I was very restrained and only bought two. <laughs> <laughs> could have bought more um so i'll have those to show you next month but that is it place now looks like a, a bomb set i can't believe charlie's not tried to get involved he's just sat there happily he's got his eyes closed but i can tell he's purring he's always purring unless he's fast asleep he's purring um yeah all the other cats they've had the breakfast they've gone off and had the snoozes i think there's baby jess might be outside I can't see her but she might be down that way <sighs> but that's it so mum will be here literally any minute so I'm going to make a start on getting all this packed away and yeah hopefully maybe not in next month's video but the month after this room is being decorated 
my lovely neighbours. Oh, my neighbours are just so lovely since I moved here. And um, her daughter, actually, her daughter and son-in-law um, gave me a couple of settees for the living room. Um, but she said, you know, is, is there nothing that, that we can do about, about helping her with decorating? And I think my mum's here find out um and they're actually going to decorate this room for me so and it's going to be a very pale sage green um so obviously i'm not going to be able to get the floor done because i need the floor throughout the house um and that's going to have to wait until the living room's done but yeah it will be will be done just get, mom just come round the back and wave say hi <laughs> see if she can come into shot just, just walk around the back of the catio and wave to the camera. <laughs> right, right, keep, keep going. <laughs> keep going. There, can you see mum? Where's mum? <laughs> Floss tube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just, just telling them about about what you you you've been stitching. So oh, right. yeah. So we've just finished and just come at a good time. We're just finishing. So, I'll just let myself in. yeah, okay. So, mum and <laughs> bye. So, mum and Cole let, Cole let herself in, but uh, yeah, so so that's it. So, um, I do have a buy me a coffee link down below. I do have one regular supporter, you know who you are. Thank you very much. It doesn't mean an awful lot to me. Um, so yeah, oh, I did buy <laughs> not that these are any, are any interest, but a couple of pairs of scissors. I love that colour, pretty scissors, yeah. Um, so I shall get this sorted, go and talk to mum, have a brew with her, and then later I'll get this edited and uploaded. So thank you so much um, for hanging in and thank you very much to the people who reached out to me just to check that I was okay. I was, um, I said I was just very, very tired in April. Stitchy Bug left me, Stitchy Bug is now back and yeah that's it so i'll see you all next month bye